Mr. Timmons, you just met with President Trump. What did you guys talk about? We had a great opportunity to tell the president about some news that we had. We do a quarterly survey. Uh, it's an economic outlook survey, and it, it measures how manufacturers feel about the economy. And for the first time, uh, it, well, it was a record for the, in 20 years that we've been doing the survey, 93 uh, percent optimism. By what do you attribute that optimism to? Is it this administration? Is it other factors? Is it global factors, trade? What, what do you attribute that to? Well, I think manufacturers are very excited about the agenda that the administration has put forward, that many members of Congress are talking about, and that is to, to reform our tax code, to reduce regulations, and to invest in infrastructure. Those are three things that will really spur investment and job creation and manufacturing. And I, you, you can't find much more uh, happiness than you see in manufacturers right now because of that agenda. When you talk, uh, when you look at, uh, take a look at the legislative items on the to-do list in the future, whether it's tax reform, whether it's infrastructure spending, let's stay on infrastructure for a second. Is there really an appetite in Congress to get infrastructure done? I mean, I know there could be some strange political bedfellows in terms of Democrats getting on board, but ways to pay for it. Is this really a realistic agenda item? Well, I think the question is, is there an appetite in Congress for a revitalized economy and job creation? If there is infrastructure investment, significant infrastructure investment, just like we point out in our Building to Win proposal uh, at the National Association of Manufacturers, will lead to the creation of hundreds of thousands of jobs and sustained economic progress. So infrastructure is really key to, to achieving that, uh, mm -hmm. that shot in the arm to the economy. And then on tax reform, did you guys talk about the border adjustment tax? I know this has divided folks here in Washington, uh, in Congress, outside of Congress. Where do you guys stand on that issue, and did it come up in the meeting? We talked in general about the need to reduce the cost of doing business through comprehensive tax reform. And by that, we mean reducing the rate, a territorial system, making sure that, that small and medium-sized manufacturers are part of that because so many of them file as individuals and not as corporations. So that was really the context of the conversation when we when we had that conversation about the border tax didn't come up. So we didn't talk about it there, and right. frankly, we're waiting to see what comes out of the White House, what their proposals are, so we can take a, a look at the comprehensive plan. And obviously, this is something. Uh, where do you guys stand on border tax, and and what about is there really a way to get tax reform done? before the August recess with just so much seemingly going on? Well, I'm an optimist, and I think that members of Congress want to jumpstart the economy. The quickest way to do that is to reduce the cost of doing business in the United States and to reduce the tax burden that businesses pay mm -hmm. in this country. So I, I am an optimist. I think it can get done, specifically to your other question. We'd like to see what the... the We'd like to see whatever proposal is going to come down from the White House mm -hmm. and whether it will include that facet or not and, and really what the whole package looks like for, for manufacturers. So it's not a non-starter, but you have concerns about it. Is that a safe I, what? Look, I think you have to look at the whole yeah. package and yeah. you have to see how it's going to impact um, every sector of manufacturing. So yeah. until we see that, I think it's a little premature to comment. Jay Timmons, fresh out of the meeting with the White House. We appreciate you making time for Bloomberg on this very rainy day in Washington.